at first there's just a fleeting glimpse through the foliage but there can be no mistaking what we're seeing there are two elephants silent and still in death horribly disfigured it looks like this elephant has been shot multiple times for those whose job it is to protect and preserve there's nothing so ugly really tragic to see such a magnificent beast reduced to a, a pile of rotting flesh for a couple of teeth poachers have been spotted as they return to the bodies perhaps to salvage meat the last point where the poachers were seen was just over here the hunters are now the hunted the quarry has vanished into the bush for this small island of wildlife is a poacher's paradise with a long porous border hemmed in on all sides by people fighting their own desperate battle for survival. And for villagers, elephants bring only trouble. Chief James Satola tells me elephants can destroy everything, all their crops. So nothing left. And most of the poaching isn't for ivory, but for animals to eat. In six months, rangers have seized a staggering 10,000 snares, like this crude noose. Tightening, tightening, tightening until the whole neck is completely tightened and now the animal will fail to breathe. Deadly and indiscriminate, one trap still holds the remnants of an elephant's foot. This young male still bears the scars from a snare. One in six elephants here carry injuries from a human encounter. Elephants and human beings do not make good neighbours. The one a menace to the other. Especially where they are competing for scarce resources, it can be a mutually destructive relationship. When elephants escape the park, rangers use flares to try to herd them back. And a robust new fence is being built, both to keep animals in and people out. The human population growth around this national park is very high. Uh, so the demand for resources is constantly growing and if we do not uh, secure the national park it simply stands no chance for the future. So saving the elephant is as much about tackling poverty as it is about fighting poachers. It's hard to say which is the tougher task. John Ray, ITV News, Malawi.